Jala. What's it been? Three years? It feels like centuries. Maybe this won't be as bad as we thought. She sounds friendly. I heard you got your heart broken. Ah. How does it feel to crawl back home to lick your wounds? I'm glad my misery is such a source of joy to so many people. Between you, Sergio, and my mom, it almost makes up for it. Take it as a compliment that I'm assuming you have a heart. You always loved holding on to grudges. Not all of us are so easily distracted by the next shiny object. Am I making you nervous, Jala? Good. Get used to it. I'm not your pawn anymore. I don't get down on my knees for just anyone. Show some respect when you speak to the Maharani. Dia used to be the middle school mean girl. On the outside, her life was perfect. But really, she was deep in the closet. What began as Jala confronting Dia about bullying Tyler turned into a torrid secret romance. Those hormones really had a grip on Jala in middle school. Rude. They even started a band together to have an excuse to meet up. But let's just say things ended uh, messy. For the band, and for them, Dia's never forgiven her. You've been brought before the throne to stand trial for your crimes. Look, I'm not going to pretend like I'm completely innocent. But isn't this taking things a little far? Why don't we just skip to the execution? Yeah, we all know she's guilty. You're making me sound like a tyrant. Please, continue. Jala Jayaratna, you stand accused of being a traitor, a liar, a betrayer, and worst of all, a shitty friend. Let the trial begin! you how I saw us. The world trembled beneath our feet. Our shadows eclipsed stars. Guitars in our hands, we'd lay waste galaxies. You by my side as my general, my warlord, my celestial commander. And you would kneel only to me. Okay, I was kinda shitty as a confused hormonal 14-year-old. Who was it? But that doesn't give you the right to hold it over me for years. together, Jala. That's eternal. That's sacred. We practiced for weeks for Battle of the Bands, and we were ready to go on that stage and dominate. We played our hearts out that night. We won first place. We were beautiful. On that stage, we were queens, conquerors, gods. We were invincible. But you threw it all away. You threw me away. You cut me out after that. No more band, no more rehearsals, no more making out in empty classrooms. No more Jala. I never understood why. Oh, come on. Don't pretend you don't know. I asked you to leave Tyler alone. But you didn't just keep messing with her, you escalated. Yeah, duh, I was jealous. 
Can you blame me, given how things turned out? I made a promise to you, so I showed up that night. But after what you did to her, you and me, we were done. So you replaced me? The next thing I know, you show up to school on Monday morning on Tyler's arm. You announced you were together to the whole school. And what could I say then? No one knew about us. I just had to watch your romance play out. I can't imagine what that must have been like. No, you can't. I had to watch you get everything I wanted, but could never have after you stabbed me in the heart. You fought for Tyler. Me? You left me in the dark. You were so in love with her the entire time you were with me. Just admit it. I was nothing but a rehearsal for the main event. And the way you touched me back then. You can't fake that. You felt it. When I kissed you, it felt like waking up, like being set on fire, like being on stage, bathed in applause. You didn't even realize you held my heart in your hands, did you? You were so careless. You're going down, dear. Only if you ask very, very nicely. For me. I get this is your fantasy, but keep dreaming. What you did to me back in middle school sucked. But you know what's worse? Your parents accepted your sexuality. They love you. You are so goddamn lucky to have grown up with Auntie C in your corner. But you left town with Jennifer and didn't come back for three years? Talk about ungrateful. That has nothing to do with you. Why don't we just stick to our issues instead of borrowing from the general pool? You are still so self-absorbed. Do you even know what happened to me after high school? I came out to my parents. They kicked me out. They pretend like they don't even know me when we pass on the street. What do you even say to that? Ugh, stop. I don't want your sympathy. I'm fine. I am thriving. Being me came at a cost and I paid it. But you, you've always had it so easy. It is time you learn how to suffer. Indeed. I would have hurt you so tenderly, but you stole that from us, and so I hurt you anyway. Can you understand that, Jala? Wanting to hurt someone you love? I think you can. I think you know exactly how that feels. Honest with yourself. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Almost as much as you are. Mom! Uh, uh, uh. Is that?
to Jala. This is not the time to get distracted. Her thighs, they're just so powerful. Hey, snap out of it. Your ill-timed thirst is gonna get our asses kicked. You know, that throne doesn't really look all that comfortable. That's because she brings the padding with her. Aruni! What? I'm supposed to pretend not to notice her ass? I'm imaginary, not dead. Okay, we need help with this whole situation. Remember how we summoned Mom before? Mom? Seriously? No! Think, Jala! Who do we know who's an expert in messy lesbian psychosexual drama? Oh my god, you're right. Auntie Chandra! Summon Auntie Chandra! If she can't help you out of this one, you're doomed. <gasps> Auntie! I thought what I wanted was revenge, but the truth is, I'm still not over you, Jala. Be honest, you're not over me either. Are you kidding me? When Irfan told me you kissed him in junior year, I knew. You cheated on Tyler, you were obviously bored of her, but it wasn't about Irfan, was it? It was a message to me. And that's why I told everyone what you and Irfan were doing behind Tyler's back. This song is not about you, Dia. What are you even talking about? Don't act like you don't know. I went out with Irfan after my thing with you blew up. And of all the boys in school, you picked my ex? Come on. You don't even like boys. I was figuring things out. He was nice about it, actually. As boyfriends go, I could have done a lot worse. You can lie to yourself all you want, but what we had, what we did to each other, none of it was good or bad. It was transformational. I'm not sorry, and I don't want your apologies. All I want is a chance to transform you in return. Very impressive, awe inspiring, majestic, pink. Your every spire is a plate, a heart, my queen. You always did love drama. Remember that time you got bored and kidnapped the class goldfish? Steve was in on it. We split the rats up 50-50. So that's where the new aquarium came from. Your chord progressions make angels weep, Maharani. Seriously? You're into all this boot licking? Oh, I'm into all sorts of things these days, Jala. Just something about a beautiful woman who wants to destroy you. Ah, no. Too much information. Your every move is a poem, Maharani. I'm not queer enough because I didn't have a self-hating phase? Because my family accepted me? Screw that. Queerness isn't about suffering.
I don't want to hurt you, Jala. Oh, all right. I do want to hurt you. A little. How do you like my new sound, babe? I see why you gave up the guitar. Come on, Jala. Aren't you a little curious? I could show you so many things about yourself, if you let me. Rationalizations and justifications. Words lie. The truth is in the music. Let's play. We still sound good together. Don't you dare forget it. Oh. 